Hi, I'm Jason Paul with NVIDIA, and uh, we're here at Computex 2019 talking about our new NVIDIA Studio program. Our, our new Studio program combines our uh, RTX GPUs with our new Studio software stack to deliver amazing performance and reliability for content creators, whether you be an online creator, a freelancer, or working in a studio. And our RTX GPUs help accelerate ray tracing, artificial intelligence for creator workflows, and high resolution video, including 6K red, 8K red video. And at Computex, we've announced 17 new RTX based laptops that are built and designed for creators from seven different OEM partners. And along with that, we've announced uh, a variety of GPUs that are part of the program, including our GeForce RTX and our new Quadro RTX 5000 GPU, which includes up to 16 gigabytes of graphics RAM for uh, really helping multi-app workflows for content creators with multi-app workflows. These laptops uh, will be available starting in June uh, with a wide range of price points starting at $15.99. We have a new uh, RTX Studio badge. Uh, when you see that badge, it means that the laptop has the right hardware requirements needed for content creation. That includes a RTX GPU, either GeForce or Quadro. Uh, it has the right Core i7 or higher CPU. Uh, it has the right amount of RAM and storage and has a great display. It also means that it comes with our studio drivers, which are heavily tested and qualified against the top creative applications and workflows. So you know you'll get the performance and reliability out of the notebook that you need. So one of the things that we're showing off here is a workflow, an advanced creator workflow uh, on a Razer Blade Pro 17, which is one of the new studio edition laptops that's based off of our Quadro RTX 5000 GPU. And what's special about this GPU is it has the largest graphics memory available in a laptop, which is 16 gigabytes. And what this means is that you can run multiple creative apps concurrently. You could think about it as running multiple games in parallel because you have so much graphics memory. And what this allows Ashley to do here is work in a, in a Maya uh, render uh, along with Photoshop and Substance Painter all running at the same time. So that she can go and she can create new art and new materials inside of Photoshop. She can then bring those designs into Substance Painter and apply them to her models. And then once she's made the changes to her model, she can go ahead and bring those into Maya and view those in real time. And so this is a really powerful workflow in being able to see all three of those things, uh, be able to do all three of those things in one workflow without having to close in and, ex uh, and exit apps. So you can see here now that the model in Maya is updated uh, with the animation that she just did. Here we're looking at uh, Maya, uh, which is a, a, a common uh, animation uh, application, using a Arnold ray traced render uh, that provides kind of ultimate fidelity uh, by ray tracing uh, the asset that we're looking at. And what we're looking at here on the right is a GeForce uh, RTX Studio Edition laptop running the Arnold renderer, um, and it's ray tracing very quickly. Uh, so when Ashley go ahead uh, moves the animation, you see the model update within a couple seconds. And this is a very, very intensive operation, but it's happening very quickly. Now, if you would compare this to uh, another platform which doesn't have the GPU acceleration, uh, and you update that, uh, you'll see that it updates much more slowly and you end up with still a lot of noise happening on the screen, uh, which will take, you know, minutes to kind of fully resolve and settle, uh, where uh, with the GPU rendering, it's resolving within a matter of seconds. So this allows artists to work much more interactively with their models uh, instead of having to wait uh, on their machine to catch up with their work.